turned out to be a uh, just a phone call of someone saying, hey, I've got a car you might be interested in and, and we're thinking of selling. And I mentioned it to Steve and we were there, uh, I think that morning. That's just one of those cars that just don't seem to come up very much anymore. And uh, it's not somewhere where you would go, oh, I'm gonna find a Ferrari in here. We were lucky enough to get a phone call and, and chase the lead on a car that needed some help, um, that needed a bit of saving. You know, I guess the phrase that comes to mind why the car was there is ran when parked. It's always interesting, you know, to, to peel back those doors for the first time or to get a little peek and you might get some photos, which we got that gave you a little tease of, of the condition and what the car state was gonna be. We're looking at a, um, a 1988 Ferrari 328 GTS. The car hasn't seen the daylight for 16 years. Stored indoors inside of a shed um, right here, not too far from us behind uh, Carmel by the Sea. You know, we're, we're still going down and figuring out what the storyline is. Um, that's part of the fun, right? So things that we noted um, today are just really positive. Um, we're looking at uh, paint and body condition. Once it's, you know, kind of cleared off, you're starting to see, um, you know, the body lines a little bit better. You're seeing more scratches or maybe some stone chips and things are, are becoming present. But it also is giving us that affirmation of what we thought we saw, which is a straight body, which is, you know, original paint, um, you know, really a car that's was well cared for on the road when it was on the road. And now it just comes down to really some heavy handed detailing and attention there in order to see how far we might need to go cosmetically and then mechanically. So you get to kind of patch together um, some times and places and dates. Um, we do have the original factory booklet that shows when the car was purchased by the original owner, um, which was December 23rd of uh, 1987. So, you know, clearly a, a Christmas gift uh, for somebody. Maybe the car had a big red bow on it. Being able to piece together that story is where we're at now. But we do know it was, it was bought for, you know, a husband and wife who were enjoying some retirement fruits of their labor. His garage was, was definitely full of a lot of high-tech, skilled equipment, which, you know, when you, when you start to profile an owner or a client, you take notice of that. So I definitely asked him, you know, what his, his background was, and we were definitely shocked and surprised to find out that he was actually a Ferrari mechanic and technician in his earlier life, which turned into a role at a, a place called Amerispec. Um, Amerispec was, a uh, government contracted business that would take imported cars from Europe and convert them to a U.S. standard car. Him and his wife actually designed the bumpers, the lights, the door bars for 512 Boxers, for 308 GT4s, 400Is, um, cars of that vintage. If a car came into the U.S., it's likely um, him and his wife were installing all those uh, U.S. qualities that you see on cars still today. You know, life happens and health happens and things like that, and car gets car gets shelved and put to the side as you deal with life matters. And that's the case here. The car did sit for 16 years, and it just wasn't because of a lack of desire to, to have the car, but a lack of ability to keep it maintained. So that's that's why the car is, is where it you know turned out to be, but we're happy to kind of give it some new life. We're seeing some positive things from the car. It's really starting to shine up. So you start to take every element from the paint, the body, the interior, seats and carpet. Everything's just kind of coming back to life in the car. Um, the dash is in great condition. The gauges are clear and bright. Um, headlights and fog lights are intact and aren't cracked or faded. 
Um, you know, you could tell just by fit and fitment on the car that it just was really well cared for over the years. No signs of, of accident or, or any damage of that nature. So, you know, we're excited um, where the car is at today and where it's going to end up. When you get these calls, you, you don't really know, um, but when you hear of something sitting for a long time, you kind of imagine just uh, you know an inch of dust on it or whatever, and maybe some some rodent damage, maybe some mold, mildew from the area it was in. People go, oh, I I have a car that's a garage find or something that hasn't been used for a million years, and you go look at it, and it's because it's been driven quite a bit and and maybe needed work or had an engine malady, so they parked it, and then you come along years later and go, well, here's my garage find and it turns out to just kind of be an old, down, tired old car. This would be the opposite of that and something that has had minimal use and is really uh, what you want to find. Ferrari is back where it belongs.